Hey everyone, Phil here, the English writing coach. I'm super excited to share this tip with you today because two of my clients have got in touch with me in the last week to say that they have managed to write a post, a detailed post, in under an hour. That might not sound great, but both of these people were spending over three hours writing their post. Do you know why? Because they were overcomplicating things trying to include too much and they weren't breaking the task down so I want to share the tip that I gave them uh, with you so that you can do this too all right let's just um, make this a bit smaller move me into the into the top corner here uh, let's go where are we go let's go over my face here uh, perfect great so this is the writing process and what I want you to, to notice is that we often think of writing as three steps. You write a plan, you do the writing, and then you edit. Actually, the planning stage makes up a lot more. And this is where you can stop getting frustrated, uh, staring at that computer thinking, what am I going to write and how am I going to express it in English? Break down those steps. First, think get lots of ideas, generate those ideas, and it doesn't have to be at your desk, that can be anywhere, right? Um, when you're going for a walk, when you're doing exercise, those are great times to note down some ideas. Spend time developing that as well. This is the thinking time where you're really understanding, you know, why do my audience need this? And what exactly is it going to be about? What kind of problem could it solve? Narrowing is next. and here you want to say what it is not about one of the key things with both of these writers that i said was make posts about one thing one thing only keep it simple and narrow down your idea finally the final step before actually writing a plan is gathering right get the evidence get the the statistics or anything else that you need to write uh, before you begin writing and then and only then should you write a plan, right? Make the plan nice and detailed uh, so you know exactly what you're going to write. Consider the language difficulties, what kind of vocabulary you should include um, and how you should keep your text simpler, especially if it's something like a social media post. So by implementing these tips, uh, all of those two hours of worry and frustration have been taken away from these um, two clients. And I can't share who they are with you just yet because I'm still working with them. But as soon as I can, I promise I will share the details um, because I like to think that I'm somebody who doesn't uh, engage in a lot of bullshit, as I call it. Great. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tip. If you're interested in learning more, you know what to do. Just reach out, send me a message. Uh, even if we don't work together, it's no problem. I will give you some more tips and help. Uh, hope to hear from you and have a speedy writing week.